What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive VGC Double Battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing off a Drapion team. Not just any Drapion team, a Scope 1 Sniper Drapion team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, really, guys, consider subscribing. We got tons of new content coming very, very soon. We got Pokemon Sword and Shield Series 12, and we got Pokemon Legends Arceus. We're going to be doing a playthrough on this channel alongside with guides to give you guys the best information on that game. So, like I said, subscribe, hit those notification bells so you know when all my videos go live. But let's get started here with the team preview with the one and only Drapion. Just look at this dude. It's a scorpion with four legs and two giant arms. Like, this guy does not miss arm day at the gym. He's yoked. This dude is yoked, but I absolutely love his Pokemon. It is Poison Dark type, and we gave this thing a Scope Lens to pair well with its, with its Sniper ability. So, Scope Lens is going to give us a higher critical hit ratio alongside with our ability Sniper, which boosts damage on critical hits. And then we got moves like Night Slash and Cross Poison to even boost critical hit ratio even higher. So, pairing all three of those things together, this Pokemon is amazing and it hits like a truck. But, let's start off with this thing's nature. We gave it Adamant, makes this thing hit a lot harder. It gives it a nice little attack buff, and then obviously the EVs on this thing is going to be attack and speed. We just want this thing hitting as hard as possible and outspeeding all the Pokemon. Like I said, sniper ability, and now let's move on to the move set of taunt to taunt opposing support mods, knock off, take off items, and then cross poison and night slash both for stab, and they're both high critical hitting moves. So, like I said, you're, we're pairing those moves up with the sniper ability alongside with the scope lens. We're gonna be critting so so much and doing a crazy amount of damage. Cannot wait to showcase that Pokemon and just whoop people left and right. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be Scissor. This team is a hyper offensive team. Got a lot of Pokemon that can hit like a truck in the physical side and the special side. So I feel like we're just going to be dominating battles left and right. We got X Scissor, Bullet Punch, Sword Dance to set up and protect for this thing's moveset. EVs obviously are going to be HP and attack with that technician ability, adamant nature, and life form as this thing's item. Third Pokemon on the squad is going to be a great special attacker for the squad, and that is going to be Rotom Wash over here. We got the Citrus Berry as this thing's item, because, you know, when it falls below half, we give this thing more HP, and he can stay in the battle a tad bit longer. Nature for this guy is going to be modest to give it a special attack boost, EVs, special attack, and speed. All bulked up. Like I said, hyper offensive. We're getting after his damage for this video. Levitate as its ability, then normal move set of Thunderbolt, Hydro Pump, Nasty Pot to set up, and protect for our fourth and final move. Next Pokemon is going to be Tokus. Great little support mod for this squad. And is this the right Tokus I want it? Does it have Serene Grace? It does. Okay, so this is the right Tokus I want it. So follow me, Air Slash Protect. That's a lean for the moveset. Serene Grace as its ability. So, you know, we can get a lot of flinches with those Air Slashes. And then we got HP and Speed for our EVs just to bulk out shots and outspeed Pokemon left and right. Nature for this guy is going to be Timid to give it another speed boost. And last but not least, the item that we are holding is going to be that I Pop a Berry. Love that item. Love that item on the Tokus. Just keeps it in here a lot longer with that HP EVs. Just makes this thing out bulk a lot of different Pokemon. Uh, is this our last Pokemon? No. Fifth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Weavile. And Weavile is so good. I absolutely love using this Pokemon on any team I use. Considering it has Fake Out Control, Icy Wind for Speed Control, and it just outspeeds everything and can hit at hit like a truck at the same time. We gave this scene an Expert Belt. Technically, I want to give the Focus Ash, but the next Pokemon is holding the Focus Ash. But Extra Belt's going to be our item. Nature for this guy is going to be Jolly to make it outspeed everything. EVs are going to be Attack and Speed with the Pressure ability. And then last but not least, move set is going to be Fake Out for Flinches, Ice Punch for Stab, Icy Wind for Speed Control, and Night Slash for Stab. Final Pokemon on the squad, the Pokemon that we gave the Focus Ash to is... Blaziken. Blaziken's over here. We used him in our last video. He works super, super well, and he's a wonderful physical attacker. We got Blaze Kick. We got Protect. Swords Dance to set up and close combat for heavy stab damage. EVs for this guy is obviously going to be attack and speed and speed boost as his ability. So at the end of every single turn, we go plus one on the speed board. I think that ability is kind of broken, but hey, we're going to use it to our advantage. Nature for this guy is going to be adamant to give it attack boost. And last but not least, the item, like I said, is the Focus Dash. Guys, if you want to try out the team for yourself, we got that pokey pace, all the EVs down in the description below. But without further ado, let's hop on that ladder. Look to get some wins with the Sniper Drapion team. Time to get rolling with the giant purple scorpion in battle number one, Drapion. Let's lock in this team. Let's get after this battle. Let's see who this guy is rocking out. Let's see. And I think we know who he's going with. This guy only has four Pokemon, but they're really cool Pokemon. He has the Dragonite, he has the Gengar, he has the Metagross, and the Porygon Z. Four really, really strong Pokemon. I feel like Weavile is going to be great in this battle. For speed control, he can Icy Wind kind of just take control. He can do work on that Dragonite. I feel like Drapion could also be a great lead here. Drapion could be a wonderful lead here. He's super effective onto that Metagross and onto that Gengar. So I love it. And then we have Weebile who's super effective onto that uh, onto that Dragonite. I really do like that. 
I really do like that. Next, we're going to bring Blaziken because Blaziken's just a beast. He can have speed boost, he can take speed control, and he's super effective up on the Metagross alongside with that Porygon C. And then last but not least, I think we're going to bring Togekiss because Dragonite is kind of like a bigger threat. And then having a Pokemon like Togekiss in that back end could be really, really good for us to kind of counter up onto that Dragonite. So I'm digging that. We're going to lock it down. We're going to lock it in. We're going to look for a win here in battle number one. But yo, I wish this guy would have put in like two more Pokemon. Just so, like, you know, he can have six and it can kind of give us a bit of more of a challenge on whether he'll lead or not. But I'm with this all day. He's going to go Gengar. He's going to go in with, uh, with, uh, Dragonite. And in this case, I'm just going to, uh, I think it's Icy Wind and go into a Night Slash. Probably our play in the Gengar, right? Probably our play. We need Speed Control. We got to get after it this way. So here, and then go into Night Slash. Definitely our play, right? Definitely our play. It's got to be our play. But, yo, guys, if you want to catch more content from me, Make sure you guys go follow my Twitch page, Genius25, over on Twitch. If you guys are normal uh, viewers over there, I know I haven't been streaming as of a couple of days. Been working on Legend Arceus stuff for the new game. But, yo, once that game comes out, we're going to be streaming five plus days every single week. Go, so, go head over there. Link is down in the description below. Name is right on the layout. Hit that follow button. Turn on notifications so you know when I go live. I would love to see you guys pop out there. But we're going to start off here with an Icy Wind. Get off some damage onto that uh, Dragonite and onto that Gengar. But, more importantly, drop their speed minus one. So now my Drapion should just be able to take out Gengar, no problem. No problem whatsoever. I can't believe he left that Gengar in there. So we're gonna poke out here, Night Slash Pokey. Yeah, hey, send it. Later. Later, Gengar, yo. Sniper Drapion doing some big damage and he cursed bodies my Night Slash. How dare you? How dare you? Luckily, we still have Cross Boys. Wow. Fire Punch gonna th fly through here and we follow eats up. Yo, that's lovely. That is lovely. I love it. So we can Ice Punch onto that Dragonite. That could be some big damage. Um. Who's he going to bring out here next? Porygon Z? I think Porygon Z is probably going to come out here. In this case, I could Icy Wind it. I could indeed Icy Wind it. We'll see, we'll see who he goes into. But I really want to go for a Fire Punch more so onto that uh, Dragonite slot. Right? Yo, that, Dragonite, that Dragonite's a bit of a pain here. And Ice Punch probably could take it out. It's super effective. We have that extra belt. Porygon Z is going to poke out here. So Porygon Z comes out here. We're just going to go straight for this Ice Punch. And... I guess I'll go for a cross poison, or I can take off the Sings item. I'm gonna take off the Sings item. Let's get rid of it. Let's get rid of the item. Say, yo, get out my face. But I'm not sure if Drapion can outspeed it. I know Weavile's gonna go first. I know Weavile's gonna drop an Ice Punch. But we're just gonna hope that this Dragonite doesn't swap out. Because that could be awful. That could be awful. We know Adaptability Porygon C is a huge threat. And if I had to guess, it's probably Choice Specs. If I can knock off that Choice Specs, we sit in fine. But I really want to go into Icy Wind to slow down the Porygon Z. But Dragonite poses such a big threat, I'd rather just get off an Ice Punch and do it and do some big damage on them. But he withdraws them anyway. We're going to get an Ice Punch off onto the Metagross, and we're going to go from here. We do not have Night Slash, which is kind of tough, on my Drapion. We have it on my Weavile. Ice Punch going to fire. Can we get a Freeze at least? Can we Freeze? Freeze this dude. No Freeze. Drapion goes second. That is awesome. Big old knockoff coming out here. Takes off his Silk Scarf. Okay. The tri attacks can come out here. Can we soak this up? Who are you taking out? You shouldn't take out Weavile. I'm cool with that. I'm totally cool with that, because we know... That Drapion can outspeed that Porygon Z. So I can go into Cross Poison. Cross Poison will probably take it out. And then I can just drop into this Blaziken here. And close combat onto that Metagross. Or go for a Blaze Kick. It's really whatever I want to do. But I feel like close combat is probably our play. Just rock out for that. Right? Definitely our play, right? Yeah, you'll get this thing out of here. Actually, mm, close combat. I thought it was super effective on the Metagross. So Blaze Kick is definitely going to be our play. Like I said, Cross Poison should be able to do enough damage to take out that Porygon Z. Right? And I, I'm thinking we're going to get a crit here. I'm thinking we're going to get a crit. We got the cross poison boost. We got that scope lens. And then if we have the sniper ability. Give it a damage boost as well. So I'm thinking we're getting a crit. I'm thinking we're just going to be able to dump on this Porygon Z. And then Blaze Kick maybe may not be able to kill this Metagross. We'll see. But here's the cross poison. Get this thing out of here. We don't get the... Yo, what is up with us not getting crits? And why are we missing our Blaze Kicks? Oh my lord. Go after my Blaze Kick. He goes after Trapeon. Trapeon, can he eat? Trapeon eats. That is whack. Meteor Mash, fly through it. That's going after Drapion. Why are we missing our Blaze Kicks, dude? I don't understand. I don't understand. I feel like every time I use Blaze Kick, I miss. I feel like every time I use it, we miss. But we know our Togekiss can 100% outspeed this, uh, both these guys. So I just feel like going into a Dazzling Gleam, we'll finish off that Porygon Z alongside with uh, doing a little bit of damage onto that. Uh, actually, we're just going to go for a Blaze Kick here. And I'm going to Air Slash. I'm definitely going to Air Slash here. I want to make sure this Porygon Z goes down because I cannot take another try attack. It would just do me dirty. It would just do a lot of work onto me. 
So let's just see how this one goes. But yo, I can't believe we missed that blaze kick. Because I don't think one blaze kick can take out a uh, Metagross here. Let's see. This one connects here. And it doesn't. Oh my lord. Get out my face. Air Slash going to poke through here. Porygon Z, get out my face. This thing is going to drop a Meteor Mash. And please, Togekiss, eat this up. Togekiss, eat this up. He's going to go for the Meteor Mash. Togekiss, eat this up all day. All day, baby girl. Oh, I love you. Oh, I love you. I love you. I pop a berry triggering. We love it. We love it. I pop a berry giving us that HP. And now we can kind of just walk here and uh, try to get after this. Uh, try to get after this Dragonite. Try to get after this Dragonite. Because it's just a 2v2 situation here. And do we think that, uh, that a Dazzling Gleam can KO that Metagross here? I don't know if I should take a risk here. I'm going to go for the Sword Sand setup. And you know what? I am going to go for the risk. We're going for the risk. We are going for the risk here. Let's see what he does. Maybe he'll protect one of the mods. And if I get off the Sword Sand, that could be nice. Because both my moves with my, uh, with my Blaze Kin are not very effective on the Dragonite. So, it'll be good just in case our Tokus goes down here. So, Sword Sand's poking here. We still have our Focus Ash. There's no way he doubles down into Blaze Kin here. And next up is going to be us. We definitely outspeed with our Timid and Speed EVs. And we're going to drop a nice little clean. Take out the Metagross, please. Oh my lord! I can't do it. I can't do it anymore. I can't do it anymore. Fire Punch going to fly through it. Oh, we soaked that up. He's doubling the Togi? I love it. I'm cool with that all day. That should be a win for us, right? Unless we miss a Blaze Kick. Unless we miss a Blaze Kick. We have the Speed Boost. We have Speed. Can we take out that... uh? Bad Dragonite with this uh with this punch here. That's 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 the real problem. Can we take him out with that? Uh we could go for a blaze kick. Um, but it is a 90% chance of missing. We have the focus ash, we're gonna use it to our advantage. We are just going to take actually. What do we take out here? We could easily take out Metagross, but I think we have to take you out, right? We're going to say this Blaze Kick connects. And we're going to take out you. We're not going to drop our defensive stat. Let's take out the Metagross here. Blaze Kick flying through here. It connects. Get out my face. Get out my face. Okay. It turns to a 1v1. We still have our focus action. So we know we're going to get at least get one more turn. We know we're at least going to get one more turn here. And this thing's just going to... Oh, this thing's rocking EQ? God dang! This thing's rocking EQ. Okay. So it comes down to this, guys. Can my close combat Sword Zance take out this thing? I don't know. I really don't know. I really do not know. But first battle is coming down the wire. Yo, if we didn't miss that blaze kick, we would have easily won this battle. Easily won this battle. The close combat's flying here. Fingers crossed. Does Jeans win battle number one? Close combat flying through here. Swords dance. Let's go. Let's go. Thank God we swords dance. We end up picking up that big KO with that close combat with blaze skin and end up grabbing ourselves a win here for battle number one. Not a bad first battle, definitely came down to the wire, but luckily my Sword Stance Blaze Kim was able to clutch up. But we're hopping into our second battle, going up against a really cool team. He's got Scizor, Charizard, Gengar, Rotom Wash, Snorlax, and Electivire. How should we go into this one? How should we play it? I feel like Weavile could be another great lead. I definitely want to bring Drapion in here, because you know, your boy is showcasing him as of right now. But, uh, hmm, who do I think he's going to lead? I think he might lead the Gengar. I definitely want to lead Drapion. I feel, I feel like Drapion's really, really good. I feel like maybe the Drapion and Weavile combo could be nice. Um, hmm. Yeah, I really do like that. I really do like the Drapion and Weavile combo. Should bring Rotom in the back end. Rotom just doesn't work on a few of these guys. And then last but not least, do we go Blaziken or do we go like Scizor or Togekiss? I think I feel like Blaziken's going to be our best bet. Just because Scizor is such a huge threat, just having Blaziken in there. And just counteract them with the blaze kick. And then we also have close combat, which will be super effective onto that uh Snorlax. So let's lock it down, let's lock it in, and look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. In battle number two, but yo, this guy's got a sick team. He has Gengar, and I really want to showcase Gengar off very, very soon in BSP. But he ends up leading these two. These two are a really good combo because it has the uh the motor drive. So I might go discharge into the motor drive, which I'm kind of fine with that. I feel like just going into a fake out this turn, faking out one of his Pokemon, and then rolling out from there is probably your play, right? Probably your play. Maybe do a knockoff onto this thing. Take off this thing's item and alongside with a fake out onto Rotom. I'm with it all day. Run it up, y'all. Let's get this thing's item out of our face. And then we can ice it. We can speed control and just kind of get after the battle that way. I do dig it. I do dig it. This is a great lead for us. We're going to say, yo, Rotom. No. We're going to say, no, no, no speed boost. Unless he double protects or protects his Electivire, then I feel like we have a really good turn. But if he protects that Electivire, be a great turn for him. For him. But he doesn't. Fake out popping out here. Wonderful. Make that thing flinch. He's going to go next. And he's just going to go straight for a fire punch. Can we eat that? We cannot. 
Okay, never mind. We have a tough turn. I was not expecting that thing to throw a fire punch at my Weebop. Absolutely wasn't, but it's all good. It's going to show its life orb. We're just going to take off that life orb, and we're just going to bring out Blaziken here. All right, Blaziken probably our play, right? Oh, that's a big damage. Yo, Drapion, chill on him. Chill on him, Drapion. We could bring out Rotom. We could bring out Blaziken, just protect him. Which might be my play. Which might be my play. Yeah, yo, let's protect our... Uh, we could double protect here. We could definitely double protect. We go for that speed boost. Or I can just go straight for Night Slash or knock off this thing's item. I definitely want to protect... Or Blaziken could outspeed him right now, right? I think Blaziken can outspeed him right now. Let me see your speed, please. Let me see your speed, buddy. What are you cooking with? 132. Uh, Electifier might be a little bit faster. You know, I'm going to protect you. So we do have our Focus Ash. We do have our Focus Ash. You know what? I'm just going to head into the shot. Let's do it. Let's do it. Maybe he outspeeds. Maybe he doesn't. But we have the Focus Ash, so I feel clean with just going into this move all day. Let's rock it out. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yo, awesome lead, yo. I love Electivire. I feel like Electivire is super, super strong, especially in this format. He was good in BDSP. Well, not BDSP. He was good in Sword and Shield. But, like, when it came to Dynamax, he wasn't the best. So, like, take out Dynamax. It's just really, really good. This thing's going to end up getting Motor Drive. Hopefully, he goes after Blaziken. Actually, actually, I hope he does not now. Because, you know, Discharge is just going to do damage on us. Take off our Focus Ash. He's going for his Ice Punch. Hey, yo, chill on me. Okay, we eat up. No freeze. What you mean? Yo, why? Why? Why is RNG never in my favor? We're frozen. Blaze 6 can come out here. Thank you. It connects. Get out my face, Electivire. Why is RNG never in my favor? Not once. Never. Never. I got my Scorpion frozen here. Do this frozen solid. Of course, an Ice Punch has 10% chance of freezing. 10! That is so low. That is so low. Meaning 9 times out of 10, I do not freeze. Of course, I freeze there. He's going to bring out his lovely little Gengar. If I can land a Night Slash... We could be sitting in a real pretty spot here, but I feel like he's going to hide your pump. I might have to protect here, and we're going for the side slash. Actually, we could go for a knockoff. I feel like knockoff would kill. Because if he's focus sash, wouldn't knockoff just take that off? But, you know, we're just going to protect here. We're going to start taking speed. Let's see how this one plays out here. Let's see how this one plays out here. But, yo, of course, man. Of course. Thaw out. I need my boy to thaw out here. Discharge flying through here. Can you eat that up, Drapion? He's going to actually do damage to his uh, Gengar here. Pretty good. Drapion eats up. Yo, that's lovely. Drapion, thaw out. Hit those come through. Drapion, thaw out. Thaw out. Thaw out. Do it. Let's go. Let's go. He thaws out. Knockoff coming in here. Later, Gengar. Later. Get out my face. Get out my face, yo. Big thaw out coming out there. He tries hypnosis hypnosising onto my, uh, onto my, what's it called? My blade skin. And we end up just blocking that. So, Rotom's still kind of scary here. Why, yo, he's still kind of scared. He does outspeed. He's just going to go for discharges. And does he bring Scissor is a real question. His final Pokemon is Scissor. So good thing I brought the blood. But good thing I brought uh, Blaziken here. Good thing I brought Blaziken. And you know what? Uh, I'm going for this. And I'll go for, I'll go for this Blaze Kick here. I think he is going to protect, but it is what it is. Yeah. He is protect. I should have closed combat onto his, uh, his Rotom. Blaze Kick's going to fly through here. Is he going to hide your pump? Or is he just discharging? He's discharging. Okay, so Blaziken should be able to eat that up. We have our back-end Pokemon. Who do we bring in here? Who are we bring in that back-end? So, Bolt Punch might be able to KO. That's tough news. Who did we bring in that back-end? We just have to hope we can eat up a, a Blaze Kick. Well, not Blaze Kick, a Bolt Punch. We have Rotom in our back-end, which is a great little pick here. And I might just Nasty Plot here. I might just Plot. Plot might have to be our player. Or I can just go straight into here. Now, I'm going to say Bull Punch doesn't KO me. This one's going to be cutting close. It's definitely going to be cutting close. It's not very effective, but still, yo. Bull Punch from a Scissor can definitely do us dirty. Can definitely do us dirty. If he protects again and he lands it, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry, but this one's going to be really, really close. It really comes down to us eating up this Bull Punch. Oh, he doesn't even go for Bull Punch. Blaze Kick flies through it. Yo, get on out my face, Scissor. That's pretty much GG's. Because I think this thing's just rocking out with Discharges. Shouldn't do too, too much to my Rotom. Blaziken should be able to eat it up another turn, right? It does not. Of course it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. I thought it would. I thought it would. But we still have our uh, Citrus Berry, which is wonderful. So we're just going to Thunderbolt away and keep going after him. Look at that damage. Lovely. Lovely. And he's not rocking a berry so far. I think he's choice. I think he might be choice. This dude's flying. Yeah, he's just rocking Discharge. I think he's definitely choice. He does damage onto us. We're going to pop a berry here. And we should be able to eat up one more Discharge just because of that berry. Just because of that berry, which is huge. The T-Bolt's going to fly through here. Yeah, hopefully. 
Just KOs? Okay, just KOs in general. And there we go. 2 and 0 to get this video rolling. We're going to hop into our third and look for a perfect record for today's video. Third and final battle coming at you guys, and we got a real test for this team. We are going up against a Trick Room team, and the only way I can kind of counter this is going to be Drapion. He has Taunt. We can Taunt the Trick Room user and kind of get rolling from there. So we're going to lead Drapion here in battle number three and try to get rolling with his other moveset. Because, you know, we haven't showed off Taunt with him yet, but this guy is full on Trick Room. Full on Trick Room. We're going to have to bring in Rotom Wash. I feel like Rotom Wash could be really, really good. I could go in with Weavile as well, just for fake out control. Could be really, really good for us. So we're just going to go into Weavile. We're going to go into Drapion. And then we're going to go into uh, Rotom. Could be nice. And then last but not least, uh, Scizor or Blaziken. Or maybe Tokus. Nah, I, I kind of like Scissor here. Scissor just has Bull Punch. If he gets off Trick Room, Bull Punch could be really, really good for us. So I'm going to lock it in, lock it down, and look to grab himself a perfect record for our Drapion video. Dude, Drapion's so much fun, dude. He's hitting like a truck. We went up against two Gengars. He was just ripping on him. He was just ripping on him. So we end up leading. I could go for a Night Slash. Look for the KO. I'm going to taunt him. I'm going to fake out the... Uh, I'm going to fake out the uh, Crawdon and just taunt onto the uh, Dust Noir. Definitely my pipe because, you know, Crab Hammer is scary, yo. That crawled on scary in Trick Room. That thing hits like a truck, and it has adaptability as well. We definitely have to watch out for that. So Taunt's going to poke out here, right in you. And this guy picked six. He picked six Pokemon. I feel like we can have a nice little nice little counteract here. I feel like we can have a nice little 4v6 victory here. But you guys know the rules. When I'm versing these 4v6s, if I kill four Pokemon, it counts as a win in my book. Counts as a win. So Taunt's going to come out here. We're going to hope he's not popping the Trick Room. Or actually, we are going to hope he's popping the Trick Room because he is Taunted. Unless he's Mental Herb. He's not. Awesome. So Trick Room tries to pop. We kind of counter that. Night Slash. We're going to go for... No, I kind of want to go after you. I don't want to try to take out this crawl on. And just Night Slash into you. Or do we double down into you? So I play. I kind of want... I, I'm hoping we're going to get a crit here. And we can take out crawl on all day. If not, we're going to take some big damage. Night Slash can poke out here. Watch. We're going to crit with this, but not my drink. Like, that's some big damage. Was that a crit? Was that a crit? It was not. This thing's going to pop its citrus berry. And we're going to hope. Can we get a crit with this cross poison? We got our scope lens. We have cross poison buff. Let's go. Cross poison. Do him dirty here. Cross poison flies through it. Why are we getting crits? I don't understand. Brick breaks flying through here. My wee bob goes down. Why are we not getting crits? I don't think it would have taken him out. But, yo, we're definitely double. We're, we're dead here. We're dead here. Right? Crab hammer. Oh. Oh, we eat. That's lovely. We eat. That's lovely. Okay. So, we can bring out you. Yeah, we're gonna bring out Rotom here. We're gonna bring out Rotom. Rotom can Thunderbolt. A Night Slash will easily take out that uh that Dustin War. We're sitting in such a good spot. We're sitting in a great spot. Night Slash flying. T-Bolt should be able to take him out. Right? Super effective. It's stab. It should be able to do big damage here. And we're bulked up into special attack units. 4v6. We got our work cut out for ourselves right now. We got our work cut out for ourselves with Giant Crab and Dustin War here. Crawdon's gonna protect again. That's totally fine. Night Slash should be able to fly out here. You get off some big damage on this thing. Later, Dustin Ward. Night Slash popping. Can we get a crit? I feel like we haven't gotten a crit with my boy all day. There we go. There's the crit. There's the crit. I think it was taken out regardless. This thing hits like an absolute truck. The big damage coming out here. Thunderbolt's going to get blocked. We're just going to do that same thing. Thunderbolt in that slot and get after whatever Pokemon he throws out. Which it might just be the... Uh, it might just be the Slow King. Yeah. Can we taunt that thing? I think it has an ability where we can't taunt it. I believe it does. So I might just go for a Night Slash and try to get a crit on that thing. Exactly what I'm going for. That's exactly what I'm going for. He can't protect the crawl on again. We're going straight for the Night Slash. We're looking for the big old crit. And I'm telling you, we're going to get it and dump on this thing. Night Slash coming out here. Take that thing out. Did we not get the crit? Did we not get it? Bro, why can't we get the crits when we need it? Why can't we get the crits when we need it? We cannot get the crits when we need it. And we're going to lose now. We needed that crit. I was banking on that crit there. And he just pops the trigger. I'm pretty sure this guy has an ability that allows him not to be able to be taunted. So that's the reason I didn't go into the taunt. Because I didn't want to waste a turn like that. But dude, if we just get a crit, that's GG's. That is GG's. But we're going to end up losing this battle easily here. Easily. Because you know, he just brings out Torkoal here, right? I had to guess he brings out Torkoal. But yo, we're just aiming for the four KOs. We're aiming for four KOs here. He brings out the Torkoal. There it is. <laughs> There's the Torkoal, man. <laughs> Torkoal, yo, leave me alone. Leave me alone, please. Leave me alone, Torkoal. God dang Torkoal, man. God dang Torkoal. Uh, what do we do here? Night Slizzle? Yeah, we we'll go for a Night Slash here. And, I mean, we could go for... I think Thunder Thunderbolt will do a bit more damage than that Hydro Pump. We'll see. Eruption poking out here. 
Drapion's dead all day. Rotom's gonna be able to eat. Pop a citrus berry. And can we eat up another shot here? Just to be able to get off this Thunderbolt. Just to be able to get off this Thunderbolt. Let's see. Let's see. But yo, Shiny Slowking is looking tough. It's looking real tough. Looking real tough. Let's see what this guy goes for. Probably second crate. Yep, second comes through here. And I think we should be able to eat that up. Of course not. This thing rips into me. He rips into me. No problem. That's going to be GG's. We lost this one fair and square. He didn't even need four po or he didn't even need six Pokemon. He needed four and he didn't swap in the other one. So this is, a, this is a clean win for him. This is easily a clean win for him. I could bull punch, but I am going to bull punch because, you know, I'd rather get the KO. You know, it's not very effective. We still might be able to get it, but either way, this thing's just going to erupt to take me out. So it's GG's. It is GG's 2-1 for today's video. Still got to dominate with Drapion, which I love. I absolutely love. Let's see if this bull punch can KO. Get him. Get him. Let's go. Big KO. We get three off on him, and he was going to win this one regardless. Regardless, he had this one in the bag because, you know, Eruption's definitely taking us out here. Bye-bye, Scissor. I apologize for letting you die here. I do apologize for letting you die here. And he switches to Heat Wave. And that takes me out of here. <laughs> GG's. GG's. What a set of battles for today's video. Not going to lie, I'm kind of disappointed in the straight bound. Not because he didn't do well. Just because he didn't get that crit on that slow king. If he got that crit on that slow king, that thing's dead all day and we win it at 4v6 easily. No problem whatsoever. No problem whatsoever. But still, 2 and 1 for today's video. Got to showcase Drapion. He got to do some big damage. He got to showcase the other Pokemon on the team as well, such as Weavile with Speed Control and Blaze King coming in for that big damage. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.